first down it will be Mays out of the shotgun fakes the handoff to Bragg alone quick toss to the side to Derek not at the bottom of the screen two to the top on second down Mays looks left pass is tipped across the middle those are the captions back for touchdown yeah you'll see Mays take a short drop but he locked on to his to his wide receiver Pelletier the for the Wildcats Mays looks left throws up the side and the pass is the 46. Well, let's take a look and you see Mays puts it only right where his receiver can catch the football to the back shoulder. You see the athleticism. The ruling on the field was a completed catch. That ruling is under further review. In Columbus, there's Pelletier brought it in with one hand. Well, it looks pretty obvious he got a foot in, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like he had possession when his, when his right foot came down. Never mind the left. He had possession in the air when the after further review, the ruling is confirmed. Completed catch, first down. On first down, Mays looks left. Good protection, throws up the side. Pelletier ahead of everyone, but it's incomplete. The ball was thrown. It is, that would have been a touchdown off the double move from Pelletier. He actually ran out and up, but you can see Lehigh's working the short side of the field right now. It's an easier throw, and these defensive backs. Second down and 10. The handoff to Bragg alone for the first time. We'll try the right side, but nothing doing as Prince spun percent of the time this year. Four man New Hampshire rush. The pass is tipped and it is intercepted by Casey D'Andre. Brings it all the way back to the 30 yard line. As you see, May staring down his wide receiver once again, and this time the ball is tipped, and, and that's how the majority of interceptions come, either by tips or overthrows. Oil machine, but it's playoff football, and there's a lot of tape out there on all these teams. On first down, Reese fakes the handoff, hits Pelletier across the middle, all the way out to the 48-yard line for a 23-yard game. Three-time first-team All-CAA performer at that cornerback spot. Reese fakes the handoff, rolls right, throws on the run over the head of getting 10. And the handoff goes to Bragalone. Good burst up the middle. On third and four, it's a four-man New Hampshire rush. The pass by Reese is incomplete. The three receivers to the left on first down. Quick pass to the left is caught by Trevor Sakaris. Playoffs for the 13th straight year. Mays fakes the handoff, being pressured. Runs out of the pocket and then slides. Because he wasn't the primary read, but he did make something happen with his feet. No huddle offense. Bragg alone, and he didn't get there. He flew all week. He's in on fourth and one. Out of the shotgun. He's going to keep it himself. And probably wishes that he didn't come in the game. Shafniski was in for just that one play. On first down, the pass is completed to... Second down and six for Lehigh. The handoff to Bragg alone. First hit on the play. It wasn't as bad as advertised, but it was a gutsy call. We'll see what happens here. The quarterback, Mays, fames getting a first round by. Reese quick toss on first down. Dangerous throw. It does hand off to Bragg alone, and he picks up three in the second round next week. On third down, the throw, Mays across the middle, Pelletier with the catch for the first down. Dragged down by no huddle offense for the Mountain Hawks. Quick toss to the right to Sakaris. Gets a block. Nothing Wildcats. Mays tosses to the left to not. Not is brought out of bounds. So you get the zone read fake and Third down. bubble screen out to not. And he's trying to just get as much as he can. But no huddle, handoff to Bragg alone, and he is going to be short of it for the touchdown catch and a touchdown run. And we begin the second quarter on fourth and one. Lehigh goes for it by flu like symptoms all week. He tried practicing on Wednesday, couldn't complete it. An entire practice on first down. He throws and his pass is intercepted. Inside this play looks like 
Ed Reed, the way he read the quarterback's eyes, you see Shapnisky staring right down the hash, and that's called still in second base. It's, it's when the quarterback can't see the, the backside safety coming across the field. You know, I'm not a big baseball guy, but I do know when that pitcher turns his back to first base. New Hampshire goes 98 yards. And but as of late, they're coming up short. Miko Brisker in a tailback, replacing Bragalong. Taking off of the ball is Mays, and he will slide. It pushes the ball out to the 42-yard line. Let's see if Lehigh can capitalize. Mays will take off for the ball uh, with the ball again. Same back. They just have to try to shut down Troy Pelletier a little better. Quick flanker screen to Sakaris. Stop a bubble screen. Exactly what it is. You have to get off blocks and get up the field. That's exactly what he did on that play. Three receivers to the left and one to the right. Pass across the middle to Pelletier for the first down, all the way to the new first and ten. Mountain Hawks threatening for the first time today. Mays fake, looking for it all downfield, incomplete intended for Casey in the end zone. Cups for a reason, and you see Mays throws a good ball, but right here Smith leans into the receiver. That's called getting in phase, and he plays through the wide receiver's body. You see he reaches up, stays with it. That's it. That's not passing the field. And off, Bragalone near side, and Bragalone finally has room to go up the sideline into the end zone. It's 11,000, and I'm sure that had a lot to do with the selection committee awarding New Hampshire a home game. Player of the year has been out with flu like symptoms all week. He's been on the field for only two plays today. The pass over the head of Pelletier. Third and 12, good protection. Now the pocket starts to break down, and Mays will go down. That was a cover. And cover, just watch everyone on your screen just take off and stay with their man. See, when it's zoned and they pass the routes off, but when it's man to man, you got guys, and they played a robber cover too. Robbers were one of the safeties coming. If you throw a lot of touchdown passes and not many interceptions, you'll have a good rating. <laughs> pass is complete to not. Gets it for the first down out to the 43 yard line. Across the middle, incomplete. Ball throw. Total offense. On second down, Mays throws. The ball is thrown behind Pelletier. And yeah, you'll see right here, Mays has a clear pocket to throw the ball. Looks like the ball got away from him just a little bit. Sailed on him. Three safeties and two corners. Mays looking up the side for Casey, and it looked like a mix-up. Second pick of the day thrown by Reese. Let's see if Lehigh can take advantage. Mays throws and the ball is caught by Knott. First down alone in motion. He joins Mays in that backfield. Mays steps up in the pocket, throws, caught by Pelletier, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. In the end zone. Watch Mays right here. He's going to hold the ball. He's going to hold it just long enough so the shallow cross route by Pelletier can clear the linebackers. It was a rub route. His the, the by 22. Do you gamble at all? Hey, I would say you take one shot just to see how much you can get. Not using the timeouts with 21 seconds left. Cross the middle again to not. He'll get the first down. The clock will be stopped while they locker. Room. Yeah. This pass is batted down. You see right here, he gets up the field. It's like he's being held, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's off a block. I mean, he got it. Definitely got held. Lost in the second round to North Dakota State. He went on to win the first of five straight national championships. Out of the timeout, May is running for his life. Completes the pass on the near sideline. To stop, you know, you can throw it in the ground and stop the clock. And here we go. Mays won't get, won't even get it off as Cam Shorey will sack. And if they can score here, they would be within three scores. Quick flanker screen. An adjustment, I think they made it to half. He said, we're going to take Powell out of the game. Mays looking long in the end zone for Pelletier, incomplete. Six passes, all of them for first downs. Yeah, that means you're a primetime guy when all of your receptions go for first down. down territory for Lehigh. That's why you saw the running play right there. Probably a good call. Hand off to Bragg. Not too quite often. 
in these situations. Belletier outside him to the top of the screen. Good pressure, and the ball is caught. Pelletier with the catch inside the five-yard line. He caught the ball in traffic. They're going to mark it at the three. Junior on a slant pattern. You know, when, when there's pressure from the middle of the field, those linebackers, that means they're in man-to-man. -man. These corners have to protect the inside, but the middle of the field's wide open. Great and, grab. And off brag alone, and he may have been the Patriot League Offensive Player of the Year. Shafnitsky to throw, and now he's going to keep it, and he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. The quarterback draw I did take, but you see he actually sold, he faked, the actually fake the pass Statue of Liberty a little bit without the run play with it. But watch the effort to stretch the ball out. Now his elbow came down. Ronald stretched out over the line. And they're going to review the play to make sure that Shafnitsky got into the end zone. His 11th rushing touchdown of the season. He has tremendous escapability. He hurts defenses with his ability to throw downfield. Well, he's been struggling today. He's not the same guy being the all-conference player that he is. But, when, but right here, he steps up. His number gets called. He's a senior from Whitehall, Pennsylvania. And on that call, he did tell us that this guy can make a lot of plays with his arm. 15. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. And it is a touchdown. Lehigh has now scored 13 points that committed the fewest turnovers in the country. On first down... The pass is caught by Gatlin Casey. And he gets it all the way to midfield. Thousand yard receiver, but another good pass from Mays. Just a simple 10 yard out. He almost, Casey almost popped that kickoff return, too. I think he wants all the fun. He wants to contribute. Out of the shotgun. Back to throw is Mays, and he's looking downfield for Casey. Incomplete. Covered on the play. Defensive back said that it should have been a pass interference. <laughs> This time, nowhere to go for Mays, and he goes down. Just line up, take away the receivers. You can see the defensive line getting a push. And, and, and games entering this game and have three more today. Back to throw Mays, fires across the middle, and it is incomplete in the third quarter. That yeah, ball is almost intercepted. They're playing this time robber coverage where you get the safety. On first down, Mays to Pelletier. DeAndre put the stop. You are and what you, where you come from, North Dakota State, something else. Across the middle to Pelletier, incomplete in the national championship game. Mays across the middle, Pelletier, first down, out to the 49 yard line. Pelletier and catching football in traffic. Eight catches for 138 yards. Mays throwing incomplete. Intended on the play. Second down and ten inside the two-minute mark here in the third quarter. Mays completes it to Sakaris. Line up and pound the football. Mays takes off and then underhands it to Braggle. Let's take a look at the pocket breaks down. Mays actually probably could have got a few more yards if he'd have kept the ball instead of under. All he did was rush for 4,716 yards. That's in one season. That's Pass to Cigars, just shy of the first. 1,700. Oh, my goodness. Almost 5,000 yards. In High school, they play 12-minute quarters, right? Yeah. How many games was that? Probably what a state title went straight 100% pass. Yeah, he ran 37 yards for touchdown. Here we go on fourth down. The Mountain Hawks are two for three on fourth down. The pass incomplete and in It's almost like you just guess wrong. You have to just wait and see who starts and then make your game time adjustments from there. Shafnitsky in at quarterback for Lehigh and completes the pass option on his uh, first pass attempt of the day. They fakes the handoff to Bragg alone. They mess up the exchange and New Hampshire recovers the ball. That's you know, when he's been in, he's really only had one positive play out of four. He just looks out of sync and he's just not himself tonight. And, and then and there's another turnover out in the open field. That's a lot of weapons right there, brother. They have six rushing touchdowns in the seven-team Patriot League in the preseason poll. Shafnitsky completes the pass to Casey for the first time. They won a perfect 6-0 and in the league. They lost their first two games of the season and then have won their last nine entering today. 
pass by Shafnisky over the head. In this league, and, and, and it's good to see him out on the field, just going out on top. His pass across the middle, incomplete thrown behind. Lehigh, five for 14 on third downs today. They need 10 here. Shafnisky throws, and it's intercepted by Quinlan Dean. Up the sideline he goes. Shafnisky will knock him out of bounds. So the nightmare for C. Quinlan Dean just takes his zone drop, reads the quarterback, jumps right in the window. He, he looks like he played a little running back in high school. I mean, look at the speed and the knee lift. Quinlan Dean taking off, looking like a big old fullback around there. Postseason game, 64 points. They just lost the ball on downs. Shafnisky completes the pass to Trevor Knott. He doesn't have to go out and win the game. He just have to go out and just show that he can play the position. He's been paying attention in practice all week. Next time the Wildcats get the ball. Shafnisky, quick toss again to Knott. It's a nice block from the wideout Casey on the play. Patriot League. They won two of the previous three. Hand off Bragalone. Nice second effort. 15. Ton of offense in that game. And Wildcats are going to have to create some turnovers. And I don't think they're going to get into a track meet with James Madison once again. But they got to run the football and create. Coach who announced over the summer that he would be retiring after this season. Quick toss to Pelletier in and out of his two time all Big Ten defensive back in Michigan. It's Lehigh football. With things, you know, from both teams, it just comes down to who makes the, more, the most plays and the least amount of mistakes. Shafnitsky on the keeper. Get it out to the fan. Back to throw. Shafnitsky looking. Safety valve toss to Mackenzie Crawford. Does a great job of spinning his way. Talk about leading the conference and touchdown receptions. Over the head. Uh, three of the top ten players in the league in receptions on Lehigh with Casey Pelletier and not. On the handoff, Crawford. It'll be a great atmosphere. JMU has one of the better atmospheres. In the FCS, Shafnitsky across the middle, incomplete intended for not the FCS. Shafnitsky to throw on fourth down. Scrambles and then throws across the middle, incomplete streak this week. And he said, everyone who comes here, everyone knows about the streak. And they all say, look, not on my watch, not on my watch, do we want to.